The Eurovision Song Contest is a beloved annual event where countries across Europe and beyond come together to showcase their musical talent. But for some countries, the competition hasn't always been a success. For the UK, there have been the highs of Sandy Shaw in 1967 securing the UK's first ever win. Bucks Fizz taking the crown with Making Your Mind Up in 1981, and of course, more recently, Sam Ryder finishing second in 2022 with Spaceman. And I wanna go. <laughs> but there have been many lows throughout the years. So let's take a look back at some of the UK's lowest scoring performances in the Eurovision Song Contest. It's only right to start the list with a famous null point. In 2003, the UK sent Gemini to represent the country with their song Cry Baby. Unfortunately, their performance was plagued with technical difficulties, including a missed cue and off-key singing, leading to the infamous result. Gemma come on and she couldn't hear herself properly because yeah, the monitors were actually off or there was something wrong with them. So, you know, that could have swayed the votes as well because we couldn't hear what we were doing. It was an amazing even... opportunity we've had and we just thought that it, it was slightly unfair that we not at least come last, uh, but not only got <laughs> any points. Point. So obviously something that has rocked the boat and that's why we haven't got any votes. The British song was poor, but it wasn't so awful that it deserved nil poir. A lot of Eurovision songs are poor. But our song did not have the umpa that the Eurovision Song Contest does require for a winner. You, baby. For this year's event in Liverpool, Gem and I have reunited after 20 years to perform their song Cry Baby across numerous venues in the host city. And who could forget the UK's 2010 entry, Josh Jabovi, and his song That Sounds Good To Me, which by looking at the leaderboard didn't sound so good to the Eurovision viewers. Despite being written by legendary songwriter Pete Waterman, the song failed to impress and the then 19-year-old landed in last place with just 10 points. The UK's 2007 entry, Scooch, with their song Flying the Flag, was memorable for its cheesy lyrics and over-the-top airline-style performance. Well, it was it was a crazy, crazy week. You sort of you become part of the Eurovision family. I mean, it's something that you know to represent your country is is one of those not many people can do that. While it may have been entertaining, it only managed to secure a disappointing twenty second place on nineteen points. Amazing! Amazing. <laughs> and let's not forget about Electro Velvet, who represented the UK in two thousand and fifteen with their song "Still in Love with You." Just fantastic. It's a uh, been a lot of hard work leading up to this moment, so we're just here now and we're having a great time. And everyone's really lovely, everyone's been so welcoming. We've been working really, really hard. We're doing five hours of rehearsals a day, um, putting it, putting all the hours in. Train hard, fight easy. Despite a catchy tune and a unique performance, the song failed to connect with audiences and landed the UK in 24th place with just five points on the leaderboard. And finally, the year before Sam Ryder nearly secured top spot, James Newman represented the UK in 2021. I'm feeling very, very confident. You know, it's about just turning up and showing Europe that you care about the Eurovision Song Contest like everyone else does, and just coming with the best of British, and I think that's what we've done. I've got an amazing team around me, I've got an amazing stage show, um, and you've just got to turn up and be like, look, we love Eurovision, uh, we're here. So I just think, you know, anything could happen. Although he was excited for what was to come, his song Embers failed to impress and he joined Gemini as the only act to finish with zero points from the UK. Despite the result, he took the moment in his stride and celebrated the last place finish. These are just a few examples of the UK's worst Eurovision performances. Sam Ryder's Spaceman has given the nation some hope going forward, but it's likely we will see more null points in the years to come. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments your favourite performances from the UK over the years. We're going to win, of course we are. <laughs>